Hi there, my name is Janine Ellsworth and I am so glad that you are here on my website to look up your human design chart. Before you proceed, I wanted to fill you in on three really key areas that are gonna help you make sense of your chart at a glance very quickly so that you don't have to leave here scratching your head going, what the heck does this even mean? Because I know that's how I felt the first probably dozen times I looked up my own human design chart. I left feeling like uh, this looks mathy. This is, I don't understand this at all. I don't get what all these numbers mean. It looks like science too. And I just left. And so I spent a couple of years just having human design in my periphery, but not getting it at all. And so I want to give you a way to really start to synthesize this information immediately. And so I'm going to give you a couple of spots that you can look at right off the bat to make sense of what you're seeing once you plug in your information. And now you do need your birth time as specifically as possible in addition to your birth date. And that's because human design is based on where the planets were with respect to your location on the planet at any given time uh, at when you were born. And so they all play a role. Uh, astrology is only one piece of what makes up our human design. There's a whole lot of other ancient and modern spiritual and scientific teachings that go into creating this energetic imprint that we each carry into the world with us. And that's really what human design is about, is about uh, understanding how our energy is meant to flow most optimally through our bodies, where we receive energy, how we create energy, and how we are best designed to expend energy. Where should we be funneling the energy that we do have? And when we don't follow that natural flow, uh, that's when we run into resistance and we have a sense of inner conflict or we feel like we're not chasing our dreams or we feel like we're, we're um, hitting resistance and we're not feeling very fulfilled. And so this is why learning your human design is so, so, so important. So I'm going to start off before you proceed, or maybe you've already pulled your chart and you're looking at it going, what does this mean? Here are the three top things I want to make sense of for you right away. I'm going to go okay, ahead. So the first question you're going to ask is probably, I see a bunch of shapes. I see squares and triangles. What the heck do they all mean? And why are they there? Well, these are where human design pulls in the chakra system. So you may have heard of the root chakra, the sacral, uh, the solar plexus. These are all same, the same as the chakra system that you already are familiar with, but human design has two more. So there are nine what are called energy centers. And each of these shapes represents a type of energy and where in the body it is being processed. So you have, for instance, if you I'll zoom in here and show you this purple triangle on the bottom right, this is always gonna be the emotional solar plexus, okay? This is where our emotions get processed. And the reason that for me that it is colored in is because uh, what we say in human design is that it's defined, okay? And so this is a place where I am broadcasting my emotional energy. Likewise for you, any shape that is colored in, no matter what color it is, uh, you can ignore that for now. If it's colored in, there's my throat that's colored in. They're also what we call defined. This is where you are broadcasting energy. This energy is fixed consistent and reliable for you, okay? Um, each of the nine centers is in charge of a different theme of uh, the type of energy that it processes, whether like the throat system is communication and expression. Um, they all are in charge of a different kind of energy. And so as you begin to uh, unfold your human design journey, you're gonna start to understand which center is responsible for what, um, and, and it'll all sort of start to fall into place for you. The, Centers that are not colored in, that are left white, regardless of whether you're on my site or uh, mybodygraph.com or geneticmatrix.com or anybody else's, if you have a site, a, a wet, um, center that is left white or is completely blank, those ones are undefined or open. And they are the centers uh, where you are absorbing other people's energy of that flavor of that theme, whichever is housed there, whether it's communication and expression or emotions or fears and safety or uh, life force and vitality or thoughts and ideas. These are all different kinds of energy that we process in different centers. 
If it's not colored in for you, that's undefined. It's not consistent. It's not a reliable source of energy for you. Instead, it's where you're absorbing energy from other people and amplifying it outward. And so if you're around somebody who's got a really, really defined, say, splenic center here where we have um, safety and survival issues that come up. There's instinct and intuition that lives in here. There's um, yeah, health and safety issues. So if there's somebody has a lot of definition there and you're in their space, in their energetic aura, you're going to be picking up on everything they're broadcast. Okay. And you're going to be absorbing it. Amplifying. So this is a good place where we can start to ask ourselves some questions. Wait a second. Am I carrying someone else's stuff around? Am I amplifying their fears? Am I amplifying their stress? If you're looking at the root center, am I amplifying their emotions, right? So this is a really great hack to start doing your deconditioning work and to start identifying those places in your body where you have been conditioned. Number two, you're going to ask me, well, wait a second. What is the difference between the um, purple and the gold? Okay, so some of the centers are golden or purple, and you definitely have these columns on the left and the right here where that are, um, yeah, this is the left and this is the right. And why are they different colors? Okay, great question. Everybody wants to know this. You can think of the darker side, the right on the purple, that's, um, you'll see the word personality at the top of the column there. Um, this is your conscious, what's, Definitely, it's like at your fingertips. This is your innate powers, your energy that's flowing through you that you're very familiar with that are like right on the tip of your fingers to you. I, I like to think of this as like, these are all your open tabs. You can see on my screen, I'm not hiding it. All these open tabs that I have on my computer, they're the apps that I go to every single day that I use all the time. And I need them, <laughs> I need to see what's available to me to be able to um, get my work done. Um, on the other hand, if you, if you cruise over to the left side where it's gold, all of these are energies that are flowing through you that you're probably not super conscious of. They're in the unconscious side or what we call in human design, the design side. And the design or unconscious side is really stuff that people around us that we know and love probably know way more about um, than we do or they see it more then we see it in ourselves. Lastly, the third thing that you really wanna focus your attention on if you're brand, brand new to human design is I want you to, I'm gonna move my big face out of the way here, go over to the right side where it has all the information. This is the data about yourself. This is the information that um, gets generated when you plug in your birth details. Okay, so there's my name and there's my type. Type, I want you to look at type. I'm a manifester. Now there are five energy types in human design and manifester is only one of them. And so yours may say a different word like generator or projector or manifesting generator or reflector. Okay, these are all really different. They're all really unique. And this re refers to the, uh, the role that we chose when we got born, when we were built and designed um, to come into this world to play, right? So there's a lot of different roles we could play and this is the role we came to play. I also want you to look at your strategy, which is different for everybody, uh, well, for each of the five types and your inner authority, okay? Mine is the emotional solar plexus. It's that, it's that triangle. It's one of those centers is gonna be in charge of the rest, all right? And so these, the strategy and your inner authority these are what I call the big so what of human design. So what? So what I know this about myself. So what I see this chart of where my energy is being amplified or broadcast. What, what do I do now? Look to strategy and authority to help you get your way, guide your way through life so that you feel more ease and flow. When my strategy says to inform, that is telling me I need to get into the habit of informing people about what I'm gonna do next, because the manifester is kind of known for being unpredictable. We have lots of creative ideas flowing through our heads. Just assume other people can read our minds, they can't. 
That's just one example. Every uh, type has their own unique strategy. And you're going to want to start to get in tune with that and practice it in real life. If you want to drop the conditioning, if you want to stop the self-doubt, if you want to stop feeling resistance from every direction in your life. And number two, you want to look at the inner authority. The inner authority is that thing that is determining which of your centers is actually reigning over all the others. And so this is your, your, your key to successful decision making, okay? This is how you're gonna um, attune to your body's knowing. This is your version of your own gut instinct or your own um, intuition. Where in your body is it the strongest? Because your spirit knows what to guide you toward. Your spirit knows what it wants. And that's what we are being tasked through human design to listen to, to get back into our bodies and get out of the mind because when we are using only our minds for decision making, we get so gummed up in uh, needing logic, needing answers, needing proof, needing evidence, um, needing things to be rational, needing things to uh, make perfect sense right now. You know what? We don't always have that luxury, do we? And so when we drop out of the chatter of the mind, which can be incredibly confusing and creating so much doubt um, and confusing us in so far as what we just sort of know to be right in our hearts or in our gut or in our feelings. When we drop out of the mind and we get into the bodies that the body that really has the wisdom and holds the truth of what we really should be doing with our life, with with uh, that it be in tune with our spirit, that's what we want to go for. Okay, so start to pay attention. Sign up for my newsletter so that you can get tips on how to work with your authority and your strategy and what this whole business of your um, of your type means and all, what each of these centers is all about and all of those numbers that you see, which we're not going to get into. That's what a reading is for, and all of those lines connecting the different centers. Those are all. Um, things that you'll you'll develop on your journey and that you can um, build toward, right? And so you don't need to know all that right now. As you're pulling your chart for the very first time, those are the things I just want you to look at. Um, which centers are lit up and which aren't. Understanding the difference between um, the, the dark and the light side and that, that there's just a coincidence. I just picked purple and gold. That's just my brand colors, okay? Doesn't mean anything. Um, conscious and unconscious energy, and then um, what your type, strategy, and authority are. Those are the really, really big things that you should pay attention to right now and give yourself time to practice with it, okay? If you would like a um, deeper dive with a private reading, I am totally on board. I love dorking out about this stuff and nerding out with people about their energetic body and what they came here to share with the world. Um, and if you want a really, really quick digest of the five different energy types so that you can understand uh, once you learn what yours is, how it differs from the others, because here's a little tip. We all assume that we operate in the same way until we realize, oh, wait a second, oh, that's why that person's so different. Wait, that's why I'm so different and why I feel like a weirdo sometimes. It's just because we have all different energy types. And so catch a quick glance. I have a cheat sheet um, that's a free download that you can grab right now. Um, I think below this widget on the video. Um, so you can go ahead and download that for free and study that and look up your family members, look up um, your loved ones, ask for permission first, because that, yeah, that's just a, a, com a thing for your integrity. So, okay. Thank you so much. I hope this was helpful. Let me know.